Okay, welcome. We are we are we are on the first aspect of the equation, which is the easier easier one. We have two as two phases of the equations. So this first one is easy compared to the second one. So we are given the only polygon that the sum of the interior and equals that of the exterior is dash. So they say the sum of interior angles must be equal to the sum of the exterior angle. So what is the formula for the sum of interior? So they said sum Okay, they say sum sum of interior must be equal to sum exterior. And what is the formula for the sum of interior? This, the formula is n minus 2 times 180 must be equal to what is the sum of the exterior angle, which is 360. So which is n minus 2, dividing both sides by 180, this is 2. Therefore, n must be 2 plus 2, which is 4. And a four-sided polygon. A four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral, so the answer is B. The second one, we are the exterior angle of a of a polygon are this, 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 this. We are asked to find x exterior angle. We know that for every polygon, once you sum the exterior angle, it gives us 360. So we need to sum all these angles to give us 360. So we have x plus 10 plus x minus 20 plus 2x minus 10 plus x plus 40 plus 3x minus 10 plus 2x plus that must give us 360. So that's the sum, that's the form. So we add up x plus x, 2x, 4x, 5x, 8x, 10x. So we have 10 x let's sum the, the the so 10 10 of minus 20 minus 30 30 so we have 40 left so plus 40 equals 360 you understood what i did 10 to 10 0 minus 20 minus 20 minus 10 is minus 30, so 30 remaining 40. 40, do you get? So that's what it means. So finally, 10x equals 360 minus 40 is 320. Finally, x equals 30. So the answer is B. So the next one, the interior angles of a regular polygon measures 108. What is the central angle? So if you remember, I told you for any regular polygon, the central angle, central angle must be equal to exterior angle. So that's it. And the formula is always 360 over N. So the total the interior angle of a regular polygon is 108. So they say what is the central angle so 360 over m but also if you could remember which implies here we are looking for the exterior the central angle equals the exterior angle so that's it so the exterior the central angle and an exterior angle is always 180 minus interior angle so we have 180 minus 108 which is 72 so and I told the exterior angle and central angle are the same so central angle is also this so that's what that's the answer the answer is d so the next one the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 6x plus 6 and we asked to find y in terms of x so we are we are making y the subject of formula and we know this is a pentagon so the sum so the sum of the interior angle which is 6x plus 6y must give us 5 minus 2 times 1 8 
because the sum of interior angle is always n minus 2 so for pentagon n is 5 so this is 6 factor this is 6 x plus y this is 3 times 1 8 so we have x plus y which is now 3 times 1 8 over 6 2 to so 90 therefore y equals 90 minus x because we are asked to make y the subject of formula 90 minus x so the answer is d so the next one we are we asked to find x given that diagram looking at this they are all exterior angle and the sum of for any polygon the sum of exterior angle is 360 so we are summing so i'm summing we have x x plus 2x plus x plus 3x plus 5s must give us 360 that is the sum of the exterior angle so 1 3 4 7 12 so we have 12 x plus 360 so x is that so the answer is b so the next question a hexagon is inscribed in a circle of radius find the length of one side of that a so this is my circle and we need a hexagon inside we need a hexagon inside so that's the hexagon so this is my hexagon so this is my hexagon so assuming this is the center of this circle you notice it will form six congruent right six congruent equilateral triangle being the center so um, they told us that this the radius is 10 we know that the central angle as is as far as a regular polygon central angle central angle is always 360 over the number of sides and which is six so each of them will be 60 degrees so each of this central angle is 60. also this is the radius this is 10 this is 10 so meaning that here the base angles are congruent so this should be 60 60 so making the length of the side here to be 10 cm so that's the answer the answer is 10 cm so by equilateral triangle theory or isosceles triangle theory the next question we are given three regular polygons are joined to form a pattern so looking at this the first one is four-sided polygon we are so we need to get each of the interior angles so from each of the interior angle for a regular polygon which is n minus 2 times 180 over n so for this four sides so for square or for the lateral is now 4 minus 2 over 4 times 180 that should be 90 why for hexagon this should be 6 minus 2 over 6 times 180 this should be 1 20 therefore remember theta 2 and theta 3 are the same so theta 1 is 90 why theta 2 plus theta 2, 3 is now 2 times 1 20 this is 90 plus 2 times that's 240 which is 3 that so you don't need to waste your time the answer is c so just use the interior angle each of interior angle formula for regular polygon so the eighth question we are in a polygon two of the exterior angles are that we are now asked to find the sum of the interior angle here we are given two angles but we don't know the number of the remaining sides do you get or the and the number of the remaining angle because if the number of the number of sides are always equals to number of angles so let the num 
let the remaining angle be be x but they told us that each of them equals each equals to 27 degrees each of them equals 27 degrees so meaning that total for the remaining is now 27 27 degree x that's if multiply plus 30 plus 60 as we are summing up exterior angle is always equals to the sum is always 360 do you get the logic we add the remaining we don't know the remaining angle we know that is let's call it x but the total angle if you add all, all of them are one each of them are 27 so total should be 27 times x so that's how i, I got 27 x so finally this is 27 x degree 27 degrees so 360 this is 90 90 minus that should be 2 360 minus 90 is 2 7 so finally x is 10 but there's we are not asked to find x we are asked to find this the sum of the interior angle so we know we've known that x is 10 but they gave us two so the number of sides should be the number of remaining angle which is also the number of equal is always equal to the number of sides number of angles equal to, must be x plus 2 because we are given two angles so which is 10 plus 2 which is 12 so finally the sum of the interior angle is now n minus 2 times 1 8 which is 12 minus 2 times 1 8 which is 1800 so that's the answer the answer is c so the next question we are uh, we are giving this polygon they told us that this is a rectangle a b so they said that they said that this is a rectangle so this is also a rectangle finally so this is a rectangle and we know that each interior angle of a rectangle is 90 so we are asked to find angle dg d g f so let the angle be let the angle be theta so we are looking for here d g theta so once we know this we've known theta so that's it so but again this is a pentagon this is a regular pentagon and we know that for each interior angle let's get the interior angle we need to know if we know this which is now and if you know this too or maybe once we know this too by exterior angle theorem we've known this so no need of knowing this one so, do you get what i'm saying i'm saying that by exterior angle theory once you know this angle and this we've known this the sum so let's get b and c so for c each interior angle is always n minus 2 so n minus 2 over n times 180 and this is a pentagon which is 5 minus 2 over 5 times 180 this should be 3 over 5 times 180 this should be 3 times 336 which is 108 so this should be 108 so the angle here is 108 so here this is 90 so meaning is no you know it's part of the interior angle everything here should be 108 so meaning the remaining should be 108 minus 90 which is 18 which is 18 so finally until from exterior angle theorem theta plus 90 must be equal to 18 plus 108
does it. So that's what the theorem states by exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle theorem. That's how we got it. So 108, so it should be 36 because 108 is 90 plus 18. 90, 90, so we have 36. So the answer should be 30. 36. So the next question, we are given this diagram. Second to the last question. We are given this diagram. ABC is a regular polygon. Find angle AOF. A O A O F. Okay, but we know that this is a regular. Okay, what we know, this is a regular polygon. So whatever that is here, the sides are congruent. So and since this is this is an isosceles triangle. AF is an isosceles triangle, so meaning the base angle must be the same. Theta, theta. Also, the base angles are the same. So, by exterior angle theorem, this should be 2 theta. You know why exterior angle, the sum of the remote interior angle. So, our AFO is 2 theta. So we need to get theta. But we know that each interior angle that's angle AFE. Each interior angle must be this is a six sided polygon. 6 minus 2 over 6 times 180. That's each of them. They are all the same. So this should be 120. So they are all 120. This is also 120. So from here, for angle AF to be 120 implies that theta must be 30. By angle sum theory for triangle. That is, if you sum all the angles, it must give us 180. Therefore, 2 theta is now 2 times 30. The angle, the angle is 60. So that is our angle. Because we are asked to find angle A O F, which is two theta. So the next question we are given A B C is a regular polygon. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, six side is a hexagon. So that's my hexagon. They said if B C so let's name it A. B, C, D, E, and F. They said if you extend B, C, and E, D, if you extend B, C, and E, D, so if we extend this, and this they will meet at G so we asked to find angle CGD CGD so I'm looking for this so let's call it theta but we know that if you know this and this we've known theta we now use angle sum theory for triangle so but here this is a hexagon a regular hexagon so the interior angle is always 120 that is 6 minus 2 times times 180 over 6 so this should be 120 so each of them is 120 120 so here should be 60 both should be 60 each therefore theta is also 60 because it's an iso is an equilateral triangle so we don't need to waste our time here is 120 120 60 60 by angle on a straight line so the remaining angle must be 60 to sum to 180 so theta is 1 is 60 so we need we stop here let's go to the next aspect of the equation the other ones thanks